Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew Baines here from the Custom Journeys Podcast. I wanted to make another video to bring you three more opportunities for entry-level software engineering jobs. Two of them offer six-figure salaries, depending on where you're gonna live. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe and like this video. Also, be sure to share with a friend or somebody that you know that's trying to get into the software engineering role. Now, let's go ahead and jump into it by first talking about J.P. Morgan Chase. So J.P. Morgan Chase has a program called Emerging Talent, and I've actually interviewed somebody from the program, Salam Dagapu, so be sure to check that out. But now let's talk about their program. So J.P. Morgan Chase is looking for individuals for their hybrid program who are located in Columbus, Ohio, Chicago, Illinois, Wilmington, Delaware, Jersey City, Tampa, Plano, Houston, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia. If you're located in any of those cities, I highly recommend you apply. The deadline for this application is February 12th. The great thing about the website, they actually list what the base salary will be if you're located in New Jersey, which is $110,000, which is, well, I don't know if that's good or not for market rate in New Jersey. It could be kind of expensive out there, I'm assuming. But anyway, they list the salary. So I'm really glad that they do that. One thing that I do want to add in here real quick, just because an opportunity is entry level does not mean that it doesn't require you to have any knowledge whatsoever of coding. This opportunity is for people who never had any work experience in tech, but they do want you to have a foundational knowledge of Java, C Sharp, or Python. If you've never started or done anything with any of those, you might want to start with Python. Might be the easiest one to learn starting off. At least shoot your shot. I don't know. Uh, you got a month to apply, so go ahead and get started today trying to learn some things about it. But I want to tell you guys real quick about the application process. If you get accepted into their April cohort, the cohort actually begins April 24th, 2023. But the application process is outlined towards the bottom of the application. So you submit your online resume. You send a resume and an application online. Once you do that, you'll get a callback or an email from the Chase staff. And they'll tell you, hey, you meet all the qualifications or not. Assuming that you do, then you'll have to complete a technical interview powered by HackerRank. Assuming that goes well, then you'll submit a video interview from HireVue. And so HireVue is a platform where basically Chase is going to have a list of questions for you or maybe even a video prompt, and you'll have to record yourself answering those questions that they give you for the video interview. So it's a great program. The last thing I do want to add, they also have a hackathon. I think it's a 12-hour hackathon called Hack for Good, where J.P. Morgan Chase partners with different nonprofits to address different technical challenges or technical needs that the nonprofits have. During this 12-hour hackathon, you'll be on a team of others, aspiring software engineers, and you'll work to either build a website or address some need that they have basically. But that's a mandatory program and that's actually on March 3rd. You have to be there if you plan on getting accepted into this program. So now let's talk about IBM and their software engineering apprenticeship program. So this program, as well as the previous one, don't require you to have any degree, any work experience or anything like that. So if you only have a high school diploma or whatever your educational experience is, you qualify for this one. But this one does require you to be located in Rochester, Minnesota. As you can see here, they actually list the starting salary as seventy-three dollars to $80,000 a year, which if you don't have any work experience can be really good. They actually want you to have experience with Java, JavaScript, PHP, C Sharp. And it, again, you don't need to be an expert in any one of these, but you do need to at least have a good foundational knowledge. If you know more, that's great. This is a great opportunity for you to kind of shine in the technical interview process. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and apply and check out this IBM program. And even if you can't apply or you don't live in Rochester, I think you should get in the habit of checking IBM's website because they have a lot of apprenticeship programs that pop up. Now, let's go ahead and get into the last program, which is from Snapchat. I saved Snapchat's program for last because on their website, they actually do list that one of the minimum education requirements is a bachelor's degree of some sort or in computer science. Snapchat's program is for individuals located in Los Angeles, Palo Alto, Seattle, or New York. And this job posting is actually relatively new. It's only two days old. And like I said, they do actually require you to have some degree of some sort listed down here. And they want you to have a good foundational knowledge of computer science languages. They don't actually list exactly which languages on the website from what I can see. And one of the unique things I will say about this program is that it's actually a rotational program as well. So every three months, you're going to rotate between different engineering groups, which I think is a great opportunity for you to, number one, connect with more people. And then number two, get exposed to different types of coding languages or different types of problems that are being addressed within the company. So I think that's a great way for you guys to, to maximize the experience. The base salary for this position is actually listed as $120,000. And they also said it's eligible for some kind of restricted stock units. So that's another great opportunity for you to get your foot in the door if you have a degree 
but you don't have any work experience, maybe an internship at most, I'll leave the link in the description below for each and every one of them. Also, I do work as a recruiter myself. I am a contract recruiter where I work with different companies and different startups all over America at the moment. So I'll leave a link below as well if you want to send me your resume and I can send you any opportunities I come across that I think you may be interested in. But that's it for this video. I just want to do this real quick. I hope you guys have a good one. Take advantage of these opportunities and check back soon. I'll have more videos like this every week moving forward. Peace.